Roof here at 881 Indian Oaks Drive at George Fuller's house and Frank Gasparic's house. Um, I decided to do a video, especially for George who's out of town. I figured uh, you'd like to see everything that I get to see as I find it. So let's get up on the roof and start talking. First of all, I put this blue line with the arrow. Can you see the, the indentation, the depression in the wood right here? When I get up here, you're going to notice that it's pretty soft right here in this area. We'll talk more about the, uh, the replacement of the wood, but we got that covered. We're gonna come back and talk about these guys as well too. It's really important to understand how vitally important it is to do these dead areas correctly. So we've already done nine houses in this, on this street alone. We got this down to a science. One of the big problems with George, with this roof, is you have a lot of damaged shingles, like here, but you also have a lot of lifted up shingles. So even though you can't see it from the street, once you lose this bond between the back of the shingle and the roof itself, these guys aren't gonna sit back down. They're just gonna keep flopping around until they eventually break off. And that's exactly what's going on here. Look at this guy. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. Over here, even more so, there's more softwood in this area here. Big chunks. George, as you may know, there was a leak in the uh, the dining area right about here, probably as a result of maybe some of these guys. Okay. And then, oh, by the way, we're going to replace all the gooseneck style vents. We're gonna reboot all the bathroom vents. We're gonna paint those to match. So they're gonna be a dark slate color. It looks really good. You can see the depression in the wood right here. Okay, we've already made an agreement with the entire association that we're gonna replace any of the wood and not charge you extra for it. I'll talk more about that. Just let me know whether you want us to remove the dish or not. It needs to come off the roof regardless. More suspect wood here. So let's talk about these guys. These are called off ridge vents. This is literally like a four foot by six inch open window into your attic times three. So we always, always, always remove these we're gonna restore the plywood opening or the opening underneath with plywood. And then we're gonna install the low profile attic ridge vent across the top. So that's gonna get rid of these guys entirely. All right, last 30 seconds. Let's talk about how we're gonna do your roof for you, George. As a company, we've picked the best shingle to use. Certainty Landmark Series Shingle. Here's your Hunter Green, your favorite color. Okay, so imagine this with me, just like I talked about in that area, that area on the back here. We're gonna remove all the shingles, get down to the bare plywood roof. Anything remotely bad like I just talked about, we're gonna replace that wood and we're not gonna charge you extra for it. After that, we're going to re-nail the, the plywood to the, to the roof trusses. The code says every six inches, we go every four to five inches. Okay, and then we're gonna install what's called waterproof barrier. There's our crew right there, one of our crews. That's the waterproof barrier that's gonna go on top of the bare plywood roof, okay? And then after that, we're gonna put your 30 year shingles, certain teeth shingles on, on top of that. So there's your quick overview, George. I'm gonna package all this information and send you the photos as well. Thanks.